Being from Santa Barbara, California, I love this place. It's my home. It's super unique because we've got the ocean and we've got the mountains, and there's not too many places in the world we've got that combination. I surf in these oceans every single day. It's just a close thing to my heart. It's a great place to, to grow up. Working with Santa Barbara Channel Keeper to test the, the channels of Santa Barbara has been amazing. We're actually taking samples to see what we're surfing in every single day out here. Well, ever since the mudslides happened, you know, we've actually been sampling here three days a week and then get the results out on our website right away so people know. Water quality really has gotten worse. That's why it's so important to be working with Santa Barbara Channel Keeper and, and to kind of invest in the work that they're doing. We're trying to stop the pollution at the source by holding our government agencies accountable for enforcing our environmental laws. But then also we're out there monitoring and measuring the quality of our water. I'm Ben Pitterly and I run Channel Keeper's water quality monitoring projects. Today we're going to do some water quality testing. The RV Channel Keeper is a really important resource for us. We're the only organization in this area that has a boat. All right, so we got these trap doors. Just open up. Basically what we're going to do is this lets us lower it to the depth we want. We're going to go about 12 feet. Nice. You collected that sample right in front of a sensor that's part of a statewide array of sensors that's monitoring ocean acidification impacts. We're gonna put the water in this container and we're gonna add some preservative to it. And so this will go to the lab now and then we're off to do more monitoring. Okay. Cool. Well done. <laughs> I really believe all surfers and people should be involved with their local organizations. Put your best foot forward, get out and learn. You can get involved with your local Waterkeeper organization at waterkeeper.org.